Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kylie Sheep and we are playing Command. We just attacked this airfield over here at Marrakesh. Uh, we lost one F-18 in the process due to this IHawk battery which we weren't able to fully take out uh, with our uh, harm strikes before, so with our anti-radar strikes. And nevertheless we did manage to, um, from, my, from my point of view, take out this airport for the future um, by taking out the fuel and ammo reserves. Uh, we also took out one of the big raider dishes and quite a couple of the capabilities of the IHawk over here. Uh, which means that the actual engage or raider spotting range has decreased massively from uh, this range to, I think it's very similar to this range, so yeah. Uh, we are much, much easier, uh, have much easier time to travel around here. Uh, during our engagement, um, you can still see that our guys are returning over here. You might be flying in a bit close to that, but let's see how about that. Uh, during our engagement, we realized that two planes were taking off, which I believe to be F-16s. Uh, so we will mark them at host as hostile, um, and that's the typical pattern, right? We see that um, there are F-16s providing air cover over the enemy fleet down here, which is trying to resupply the Canary Islands, um, and these F-16s are returning home now, uh, and some guys are coming in to replace them. Uh, which we see quite often, just due to the fact that the F-16 really doesn't carry that much fuel. Speaking of fuel, um, our flight over here, which was supposed to provide um, air cover, um, is trying to chase these guys down, um, and we just want to make sure that you cannot um, go to refuelers. Uh, we'd also not want you to be returning to base um, if you do. So, also that. That's fine. Let's make sure that you guys are actually following this path um, on afterburner speed. Uh, that's looking lovely. You're currently returning to the fuel point, which is of course what we not want to, to do. Uh, we just want to chase a bit longer, and I think we'll be able to um, do that just fine. Um, and if the worst things happen here, we can still pull down our tanker um, a slight bit. Uh, of course, we need to be careful that these F-16s don't come in our way and uh, flying into the other direction. The other bit that happened uh, at the end of the last episode is that we saw that two uh, MiG-29s over here uh, were sort of stumbling within our air engagement range. Um, I believe these guys are actually trying to provide air cover for their fleet, uh, but since the fleets are coming closer towards each other, uh, these guys just seem to be accidentally coming very close to our group Alpha over here, uh, which includes seven ships uh, sent around this carrier, um, and you know, they're just here and we are launching missiles at them because they are within our engagement range and this pink circle over here. Speaking of circles, um, I just wanted to show you that we, our fleets, are actually very close to each other and might start lobbing missiles uh, at each other very soon, um, but um, that's not something for now. I, I just want to turn this off um, because I received a suggestion to maybe declutter it a bit. And I think that's a very lovely idea. So now we only have two um, circles. One is the pink circle, that's the air engagement range. The white circle is the air detection range, so basically the radar. Right then, um, let's see if these guys do what we want. Let's keep an eye on these guys over here and let's resume time. Will you be turning around? Pretty please. Seven nine. No, we are not doing that. Really, please do go over here. We are not allowed to refuel. I specifically told you to not be allowed to refuel. It's really a shame, but I don't think I can... Oh, no, there they are. Excellent. They are coming in now. Um, they are on afterburner speed, uh, which is lovely, although they are burning fuel very, very fast. Um, you can also see that they only have um, a range... Oh, there we go. Missiles are starting to come in. Uh, apparently we missed twice at least on this uh, MiG-29 over here, 
Two more missiles are coming in. Further miss. And last miss. So we should um, see that these guys are probably gonna launch uh, more missiles very soon, which is of course uh, acceptable to us. Um, these guys over here, again, uh, just to finish the thought, um, they're about 370 miles from base, um, and they only have fuel for 180 miles, uh, but that is of course due to two things. One is that they are currently burning fuel very, very fast um, at afterburn speed, and the other element of that is that they really um, should be going towards the tanker, and we'll uh, reactivate um, that in a moment. By the way, you can see that we again were not entirely lucky and the, the final hit chance on these mig 29s wasn't that great. Uh, even though the initial hit chance is okay, 85%, uh, but the agility of the mig 29s really brings that down um, by, by quite a bit. So yeah, that's, that's the issue there. Um, over here we can see that we are closing in. Uh, these guys are now normally within uh, the engagement range of our AMRAMs, uh, but again, due to the fact that they are moving away uh, and our AMRAMs have a limited speed, um, by the time our AMRAMs would be here, the flight would be a bit further away, so we are not currently launching at them. But we should be very uh, soon, I hope. We are running at twice their speed. That's the reason why we're not going military speed or anything, because it would take much longer to catch up with these guys. Um, and even though it would require less fuel to travel a given distance, um, the relative movement here is so much bigger, better now uh, than, than it would be otherwise. So I really hope that we'll be able to launch and uh, return safely home. But of course we need to be very careful about that. Uh, these guys are still further uh, traveling further down into our engagement uh, envelope over here. Um, again, they seem to be spotting these missiles. They're diving down now, they're accelerating. Um, but we'll have to see whether that uh, will be enough to save them from this volley. We could of course also launch... I guess, you know, we'll do one thing. There are a couple of Harriers over here. Um, we ran out of um, AMRAMs on our carrier as a rearmament, so we are now limited to Sidewinders um, so on, on these Harriers. Um, and I think I want to launch one of these guys. Uh, and you'll maybe see it why in a second. Okay, these guys are, I think, dipping down below our radar range, uh, radar um, visibility on due to the curvature of, of the Earth, basically, uh, which is why these guys here are running blind um, and we're not seeing them. So they're just overshooting. So what's happening is that um, these guys up here, this uh, boat can't really see these mig 29s because they're just 80 feet above the ground and at you know, a distance of 50 miles that's probably below the horizon. So, let's see. Can we attack here? Nope, it's out of the DLD, which means that it's not probable to hit um, if uh, they were to come in. We don't really know what this is, but I do believe that it's probably a mirage. Yes, it is. More missiles being launched at these guys, and then I'm totally fine with that because we do have quite a lot of rims, so um, it's not really a waste. Um, excellent, we have some missiles being launched there. The Harrier has now departed, so let's briefly select another plane and pick our Harrier. And we'll fly that guy over here. Missiles being launched over here, missiles being launched there. Great. Um, also, I believe we had our Ellen plane over here, which we'll send up here. These F-18s also uh, just going to provide a bit better air cover. Let's make sure nothing uh, is stupid is happening here. It looks okay. Uh, why do we only have two missiles? Can you please launch all your missiles? In fact. I might have told these guys to be earlier, uh, but right now, since we are running out of fuel, I'll, uh, I'll have everyone come in and join in on this attack. So very soon we should see another attack. There we go. Um, now we can go 
mean like this, but only on cruise speed, please. Or to even lighter speed. And you can see that um, we might even uh, reach our base um, with this configuration without refueling. Let's give it an eye on things up here. Looks okay. Again, we need to be careful not to get into the engagement rate of these guys, which is one of the reasons why I, I did not want to take the scars off. These guys seem to be evading now, so I'm going to turn off the red on the radar, uh, just so the same thing doesn't happen as before, though we are being jammed. But hopefully these guys... How can you be jamming? Oh well. Certainly interesting. Oh, 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 stop. Um, we did, we do now see that uh, one of these guys is starting to illuminate. Us, uh, one of our missiles missed, right? Yes, final hit chance, 30%. So this guy right now has fired a missile at us. So this is a target illumination radar, uh, which is why it's in red. So we know that these guys are now under attack. Um, and uh, two things we can do, pull out. But you can see that the range of these guys is actually pretty large. So that's probably not a very good factor. Uh, we can hope that it will maneuver and lose us uh, very soon. But I will come in a bit more like that. Um, we are also going to tell these guys to go on afterburn again, so that maybe we can at least start to launch our uh, sidewinders. Hopefully, this guy is um, breaking target lock. There we go. This is the missile that we were afraid of. But I think due to the uh, target lock. Now, there are more missiles being launched, and I believe that must be over here. Yes. Right then, um, I'm not confident that we can reach them, so we are going to try and disengage at minimum um, altitude. After burn speed is fine for now. Now we're going to turn off the radar of these guys because I believe these guys will be returning back to their flight pattern. Yeah, there we go. And because we are diving down. Um, like that, we uh, should very soon be out of their uh, engagement range. And we're actually going to come in a bit like that. And on military speed, it should be fine. Uh, so we are not risking our fuel situation too, too much. Afterburner really, really takes up a lot of fuel. Um, our Harry over here, I would like you, sir, to be on low altitude, maybe? And you'll see what I have in mind with this guy uh, very soon, I guess. You can see these guys might just know we lost information on them about 30 seconds ago. We're not exactly sure what they're doing, uh, but I believe that to be fine. So I think they're going this way. 300 feet above ground level. It's the best they can do. I want to stick over the ground just because um, that might make it a bit more difficult for the enemy. Don't really want to be going slower right now. But I would really appreciate if we were to see these guys pop up. Um, I believe the reason we lost radar contact is. Even though our radar range normally extends to here, um, it doesn't really seem to um, get these guys, and I think that's because they are too low. Up here, things are kind of nasty. I mean, these guys are always diving down, which is why we are losing target lock. When they pop up again, we shoot, they'll be diving down again. 
So you're the Harrier, right? Actually, we'll have you come in here, and we're going to do that on military speed. We're going to go to a high altitude. We are going to turn on our radars. Turn on that set. Maybe this way we'll be able to guide them in, but I don't think so. Yeah, there we go. These guys are returning home, and so I think we can tell these guys, on the other hand, to go on cruise speed and to sort of normal altitude. And let's see uh, whether the distances here will match up. Because at a higher level, um, you'll be able to learn um, a bit more efficiently. Here we go, coming up. So this number should be going up, hopefully up to 400 at least. Yeah. Well, it's pretty low still, so we'll have to see. Up here, there is still radio illumination, and I do think uh, we need that because these guys probably are semi-active, so they need to be um, yeah, guided in. And we're losing that again, even though we do now have someone uh, who maintains the radar lock. Unless um, I want to launch a second area then, since we are chasing these guys down there. Uh, by the way, you are definitely hostile. Although, again, Mirages, they can only be manual bombers, so... Uh, sorry, iron bombers, so I don't think that's um, a huge threat. Going up over 300 now. Quite very lovely. Yeah, so still, that's not really it. We are starting to come in. There's an answer. Area. You sir are going to come down here uh, and remain at low altitude. What do you mean more like that? It will be fine, I think. You, you already have some some reserve to, to what you're trying to do. Even though, you know, when they're dipping down to land and they'll obviously come through the harsh atmosphere again, so... Maybe not. You know, these guys have been positively identified. They are on a very particular pattern over here. What does that mean? 520 knots? That definitely means they are trying to attack. Are they trying to attack the Harrier? is now traveling the wrong way. Let's see. Yes, they are, because they changed, um, changed patterns over here. But, you know, with this engagement range, I'm not too afraid. We are still within our air cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. Nothing bad happening here, right? So, yeah. You, you should be fine. Let's maybe accelerate the time down here. I don't really want you to go through the engagement range. Aha! Uh -huh. These guys are now coming in towards our area. Um, but you know what? This guy's actually loaded with 
slight windest, so you should go a bit lower. Plus the side winders again have some built-in maximum vertical distance. I would have really appreciated to shoot at least one of these guys down. But never mind, that's not meant to be. High speed. Diving down. Very soon you should be able to see them on IR and launch a couple of sidewinders at them. Which I would really, really appreciate. And then a bit more in that pass like that. Missiles are passing them. There we go, so that one has been launched. And of course they are also um, engaging us. So, you sir, can you take even one more slide one at this point? One, two sidewinders, and this guy. Just launch everything we have. No! What type of missile is this? Sidewinder did miss. Ha! 1% hit chance. Then, not before. Maybe feet. Maybe this guy can't even travel down that low. Can he? He can. Too bad. Well, this was a bit of an experiment. Didn't really work out. Uh, this guy is rather hairy, right? Um, I don't want you to stumble in like that. My oh my! Really check this guy now that he has reached his. That, that should be fine, I hope. Let's accelerate this a bit. So how can we get, get by this? They're always running low. Well, we are pulling them in closer to, to us, right? So... 
I believe that at some point the horizon effect should be well, I'm not sure how many missiles that we are going to waste until then. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute, they're not being blind anymore. That was an actual attack with a 50% chance. We missed, this time we hit, um, but it was not a blind run. Excellent. This, these guys um, also definitely go on an attack pattern now. The guys up there. That was very lovely. Yeah, we're in the band again. Looks like one of our ships. Or maybe the other We are trying to jam them, but we actually lost this contact immediately, so it must have been active active elimination by these guys. Um, and that just broke when they when they turned away. Go on, hit. Forty percent. There we go. Lovely. You guys. Why don't you just ah oh, no? I think these guys were launched at the. Can I really target you? No, I can't. Um, these guys were probably launched at the missile itself. Also, we lost radar contact with this guy, so that I think is an effect of its altitude. And make sure everything is looking fine over here. That does indeed look very lovely. Um, this, I believe, is on the strike carriers, right? A uh, strike. Oh. More guys coming in. Reading in 12 minutes. More aircraft. ECM, okay, that's fine. And in the Han over here. No aircraft ready. Couple of harms being readied. That's okay, I guess. Um, let's get one thing clear. How many harpoons do we have? Twelve, I believe. These must not be wasted. So over here, Mirage has reappeared. It's launching on our ha uh, helicopter over here. Nice, we've got the Mirage. Which was really only a question of time, and I believe this guy is returning home. So, that seems to be very excellent, I think. Um, everyone is going home or doing sensible things. Um, let's make sure to do one thing again the phone over here. I believe there must be one of these circulars uh, which we will 
on the summit from the mission because otherwise it was just going to take off in 20 minutes on a mission that I didn't really want it to be on. Because in fact we are winding down this at these guys up there. We might tell you, you guys to refuel um, from the strike tankers over here um, and then come down to you know just drain this guy um, of the fuel that he has and um, so that should be fine. Our Harry up here um, is actually could potentially uh, jump at the MiG-29, um, but you might see my actual objective is down here, um, because the fact that we were able to engage a couple of things uh, down here, Ruby's, Ruby five with three, oh, this, yeah, that's one. Um, yeah, the fact that we were able to engage these guys, that the other guys are returning home, that this guy is probably returning home, that the Mirages are not in the air, means you can have a try to get at these uh, Hawkeye over here, and again, uh, just massively reduce their ability to, to spot us. So that was would be very lovely, um, but I think that's uh, going to have to wait until next episode. So thank you guys for, for watching, and uh, we'll see whether we can get the Hawkeye next time.